All right, I found out what the problem was because I'm ingenious, or maybe because I looked at this long enough, and I never set the color to the background color. So I did that, and uh, it still doesn't work how I want it, but I'll show you that in a second. I did put width and height here because if I do want to change those values, I want them to be reflected right here. And again, when I do the clear method, I go from the upper left corner, 0, 0, all the way to the width and height, and do the fill rect. Uh, we're going to worry a lot more about the color in a minute here because we're going to be disappointed. Well, at least we're disappointed together, so it's not really erasing properly. So let's see what's going on. All right, I'm going to do the same in draw. I'm going to do the same thing I do in erase the colors. So if we're going to be smart about okay so we'll draw them in black uh, now when we erase them we got a problem uh, I need to use the background color which is no longer white so we better grab the right background color. How do we do that? We got a big problem because background color is right up here. Good news is we still have access to it. Better make it public because we're trying to access it in a file that's not inside here. All right, so how do we get it? So here we go, we're about to access something static, a public static thing. That belongs to the class, so it's chapter 11 code. Dot. Oh, look at that background color. Because it's static, I can access it. All right, so here's a great time to talk about static. I never actually have an object of Chapter 11 code. There's it never nowhere does it say new Chapter 11 code. Um, but I can use the static fields and methods. So here's a static variable called a field, and I'm allowed to use that over here on the right side. When I make a new thing. Here on the right side, thing is an object. We're making a new thing, and the way you call those methods, it's not thing dot draw. It's t dot draw. It's not thing dot erase. It's t dot erase. So you're doing the object name dot method name. Whereas when it's a static uh, variable or method you want to reference, it's the name of the class dot whatever method or field you're trying to access. Okay. So the way erase is going to work, it's going to grab the background color and then set the color. Almost there. All right, I'm just going to go to rectangles and kind of give up on this circle. I think it's the way the circles are drawn. Sorry if that's a disappointment. Oh, how much better is that? Okay. Just going to draw and then erase. Now, wouldn't it be nice to uh, not always use this color? So maybe we go uh, color. All right, when you're not feeling creative, you can uh, just name your uh, variable right off of the type. We do private color color. Uh, let's make another constructor. I'm only going to allow the color to be set in the constructor. I'm not going to allow the color to be changed later. So it's private. I'm not going to put in a get or a set until I change my mind. But for now, I'm not going to put in a get or a set. So it's, I can't have another constructor that goes int, int. So that's fine. Now you're seeing I call the parameters new, whatever they are. Uh, so this dot color equals new color and what else am I going to do? I'm going to use the constructor down there on line 31. So I'm going to call the constructor with new x and new y. Ah, perfect. I meant to make this mistake. You have to call constructors from the first line inside your constructor and it says right there, call to this must be first statement and constructor. 
but I'm making these mistakes so you don't have to. All right, so we can make a new thing this way. We can still make a thing this way. Uh, we may want to uh, set the color in here to be something by default. There we go. So the default will be black, and you might think, oh, it's going to set the color to black and then set this X and this Y to be the values. Yes, I agree. So it's going to call this method first, and then, which will set the color to black, and then it's going to run this line, which will reset the color to whatever we make right here. We only use thing T. All right, so here's, uh, you can make your own colors. I don't want to go into that right now. Some of these are highly offensive to the eyes. In fact, I think almost all of them are. Oh, goodness. They're all so bad. Color blue, oh, that worked really well. What's going on? Ah, there we go. Our draw method should be using Color. Now, if you want to be consistent, you can do this dot color, uh, which ref refers to the same thing because there's nothing else called color here. There we go. Oh, blue could be worse. Believe me, a lot of those colors are worse. Way worse. All right, now our clear. Uh, the only reason clear works is because each of these uh, save the color, change the color, draw, and change the color back. So they don't permanently change the color right here. Might be smart to, uh, just in case. G dot set color. Oh, look at that, it already knew background color. Uh, and we could keep the same lines of code, get the original, and last line of code, set back to the original. Uh, and I did see light gray. Ah, all right, now everything is perfect.